Hello friends, we are here on this fourth Thursday of Lent, once again coming together to break open the Word of God, to hear His voice, and allow Him to speak deep into our very hearts. And so I invite you to please stand as we prepare for the liturgy of the Word. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, King of endless glory, Savior of the world. Savior of the world. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, King of endless glory, Savior of the world, Savior of the world. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, King of endless glory, Savior of the world, Savior of the world. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf. And I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp. And for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have a testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf. For the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice, nor seen his form. And you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures, because you think you have eternal life through them, even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. I invite you to be seated. My friends, we come here today on this fourth Thursday of Lent. And one of the things that we've been talking about this week are all of these great signs that Jesus has done. Signs that continue to remind us of who He is and how great God our Father is for all of us. Now real quick, how many fingers do I have? Okay, hopefully you said 10. Alright, if not, we got to work on some of that counting. Alright, now I'm sure that we all know that we have these 10 fingers. We have two thumbs, we have our pinky, we have a ring finger, we have our middle finger. But we also have this finger, which a lot of times we call our pointing finger, right? Because what we do with this is we point. Sometimes when we're talking, we're pointing. When we get in trouble, maybe our mom or our dad or our teachers begin to point at us and scold us. Or sometimes when someone asks what you're looking at or what do you need, we point, right? We stand at the refrigerator and there's something on the high shelf that we can't reach. And so we ask our mom, mommy and dad, do you want that? Or maybe there's a book on the bookshelf that we can't reach. Oh, I want that. We use this finger in many ways to point at different things 
in order to show people what we're focused on, but also to get other people to focus on that too. And that, my friends, is something very important about in terms of what Jesus speaks to us in our gospel today, that we are called to recognize who Jesus is and to recognize everything that led up to Jesus and even in our world today as a church that continues to point, that continues to testify to who Jesus is, the Son of God. You know, our gospel basically is Jesus talking to the people, especially his own friends, his own people, the Jews, who have the same history as him, who believe in Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, who recognize Moses and what Moses did in leading the Jewish people out of Egypt into the Promised Land. As Moses received those Ten Commandments, those instructions on how we are to live our lives. Jesus is familiar with what the prophets have spoken about. As the prophets encourage the people to repent, to change their lives, to once again focus on God. And what Jesus is saying is that everything that came before him pointed and testified to his coming. It testified to who Jesus is. Yesterday we celebrated the Annunciation, where Mary received that visitation from Gabriel saying that you are going to be the mother of Jesus. How Gabriel pointed in a beautiful way about what was coming, that Jesus was now in our world through Mary's womb. And Mary was going to protect him. And Mary was going to bring him into this world in a beautiful way. And even when we look at our church today, the Catholic Church, which Jesus Christ himself established, as he chose his apostles, as he chose his first priests, and over the last 2,000 years, as that church has continued, from Pope, the very first Pope, St. Peter, all the way to Pope Francis, to all the popes that will come after, to all the priests like myself who work in communion with our bishop and with Pope Francis. And everything that we do, my friends, is once again about pointing, pointing right there to Jesus Christ. I want you to think about that for a moment. Because many times when you see the priests, you see us celebrating the sacraments. And when we celebrate those sacraments, we are celebrating in the person of Christ. Which means the priest acts in that person of Jesus Christ. So you're hearing Jesus' own words of forgiveness. Or those words of consecration. But Jesus is also present in the people when two or three are gathered in his name. Jesus is present in the living word of God which proclaimed the gospel, the readings. And we also know that Jesus is present here. In the tabernacle. In the Eucharist. All of these things are that presence of Jesus. And one of the things we have to recognize, especially as people of faith, is that we have to keep testifying to Him. That we have to keep pointing to Him. That we have to keep leading others towards Jesus. Towards His love. Towards His goodness. Because we also recognize that sometimes we don't do that, right? Sometimes when we fight with one another, and we don't just point and argue, but we actually throw punches and hit each other. Is that pointing and testifying to Jesus? When we see one of our friends, or one of our older brothers or sisters, or even younger brother and sister, playing with something that we want, and we just take it without asking, or we're being mean, is that pointing to Jesus? When all we do is just spend all day lying in bed, Fighting with our mom who once says, get up, come on, the day has begun and we just keep on arguing, we just want to stay in bed and do nothing, be lazy. Is that pointing to Jesus? These are things that we sometimes do, right? And even for us who are maybe older and all we do is spend time on our phones, right? Oh, look at that new TikTok. Oh, let me go make a TikTok. Let me waste some time. Not saying that's bad, but when we do it too much, is that pointing 
to Jesus? You know, one of the things the church asks us to do in a special way is to pray. And whenever we pray, one of the things we do is we hold our hands like this. Fold our hands. Recognize that our fingers, all of our fingers now are pointing where? To God. So that as we pray, our prayers are being directed to God. That our prayers show that we are testifying everything that we are and everything that we know. We are testifying Jesus' love and His goodness, knowing that He will be in our lives. And when we pray, others can also see us. And in seeing us, their focus also shifts to God as well. Knowing that we are testifying to Jesus. That we are helping lead and point others in His direction. And so today, my friends, as we continue with our lives, as we recognize that God has graced us with ten fingers, each with its own purpose, but especially one that allows us to point to where we want to go and where we want to lead others, may you make it a point always to go in that direction of the one who matters, the one who's most important in our lives. May we testify and point our entire life towards Jesus. He's right there. He's not going anywhere. Let's go to him.